have to know this theorem about secants drawn to a circle from an external point. Uh, I'll let you take a look at this. But the fact is that th this part right here is the external part of the secant. And the whole thing is AD. And this is the external part of the other secant. And the product of that external times the whole secant equals the product of the external part of the secant times just the entire secant. That's the theorem. So now how do you apply that theorem to this diagram? Well, it helps to start filling in what you know. They've already indicated that OH is perpendicular to BC with this little right angle here. OB is 10. That's like the radius of the circle. And by filling that in, we can see that we've got a 6, 8, 10, or a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple. So this distance right here is 8. And you could use the Pythagorean theorem if you didn't remember that. And then the other theorem that you need to know is that if a radius is perpendicular to a chord, it bisects the chord. And of course, that's proven by creating congruent triangles, <coughs> congruent right triangles, for, as a matter of fact. Uh, but now that you know that this is 8 and 8, that means that for this segment, a, or uh, secant AC, the entire length is 18, and the external part is 2. That's where this comes from. And for seg secant AF, the entire secant is represented by x plus 9, and x represents the external part. And so there's your equation. It's a quadratic equation. Solve it by setting equal to zero. Factoring. Reject the negative 12 because we're dealing with x as the length of a segment. So x equals 3. A quick check. If I let x equal 3 right here, 3 times the entire segment length would be 12 is 36. 2 times 18 is 36. So there you go. Thank you.